Let us continue with our learning journey where we are exploring different formulas in Excel. Let me ask you a question. Do you remember the if, and, or formulas that we used in one of our videos? I hope you were paying attention and you remember these formulas. We have discussed already how to use if, and, or formula separately. If is used when I'm using one condition. And is used for more than one conditions. And if all the conditions are met, it shows true. If the conditions are not met, it will show false. Similar to and or is used if there are more than one conditions. But even if one of the conditions are met, I will be able to see true or else I will see false as the returning value. I hope you remember all this. Now that we understand these formulas, we will take a look at their advanced version, which is using and and or with if. The reason why you may wish to use these formulas with if is when you want to sort your data according to a given logic. Let me give you a demo by using these two formulas together. I will now define two conditions that I wish to use. So let me use the first condition as score, which is above 80. The student should get above 80 or their fees balance should be below or equals to $1,500 to get the scholarship. So I'll be using and with if first. Now, I'm repeating the conditions. A student should be scoring above 80 and their balance of their fees should be below or equals to 1500 if a student needs this these two conditions i will be giving him or her scholarship now what is the use of using if with and instead of true or false i want my data to show scholarship or no scholarship if i will be using and formula alone i can only see true or false by using and with if, I can choose the returning value that the data should show. Yes to scholarship, no to scholarship. Let us work on this example. So I will write the if formula first. As per the if formula's format or syntax, I should be writing the conditions first. Now, I have more than one condition, so I will start another thread, which is AND. Please remember, just because I'm using another formula within a formula, I will not put another equals to sign here. As soon as I will open a bracket, I will see the formula details for AND, which is condition 1, condition 2. So, the condition 1 is course should be above 80 balance should be below or equals to 1500 bracket close because i have given the conditions did you notice when i close the bracket it started showing me the formula description for if again now these are the conditions that i have mentioned what if the value is true? That means what if the conditions are met? I should show scholarship. I hope you know now why I'm using this these code sign for a text. If the value is false, I should show no scholarship. I will close the bracket and press enter. I will drag and drop the formula and here is how it works. Please practice it using three different conditions. Now that you have practiced it, let's use if with or. Now it's the same formula that I'll use 
That means I'll start it with if. I'll be using these two conditions again. But I hope you understand now that if any of these conditions are met, a student should be getting a scholarship. But I don't want Excel to show me true or false. I want to see scholarship or no scholarship. So exactly the same way like I started and with if, I'll start if formula first in the bracket or it will show me the description for or. I'll write the condition which is above 80, comma, the balance should be less than equals to 1500, bracket close. It will show me the description for if again as soon as I close the bracket, comma, if the value is true, scholarship. If none of the conditions are met, no scholarship. So if any of these two conditions are met, instead of showing true and false, show me scholarship or no scholarship. In order to use this function, scholarship, no scholarship, I'm using or with if. I press enter. I will track this formula. I hope you understand how to use and and or with if. Please practice it for at least 30 minutes so that you become an expert in it.